China's national team is not represented at this year's World Cup, but they do have high hopes for the future. Joining me now to talk about football in China is CGTN sports reporter Wan Dong. Thank you so much for joining us. Always great to see you. Sure. Well, talk to us about uh, the World Cup popularity in China. What have you witnessed over the years, and what are you seeing right now with people watching the matches? Well, football has always been dubbed number one sport in China as well, even though we have table tennis. Uh, we're saying that because of the fact that the population of football or football lovers is so big, uh, football is really, really popular. Uh, because of the COVID situation, a lot of Chinese uh, citizens or people cannot make it this time in Qatar. However, they've been glued to TV for sure uh, in this big metropolis of Shanghai, where I am right now, uh, at night, people from 10 o'clock on will be definitely watching football games one after another. Unfortunately, uh, this time, of course, two games will be unfolded before midnight. That gives a lot of actually convenience, if you will. And two games will be actually still available after midnight. And all these uh, football fans and diehard followers, including me, of course, will be glued to TV as well. The popularity is really, really uh very, very uh, big, if you will. And I think it will still persist for sure. Well, China's national team uh, did not make it to the World Cup, as we mentioned. Talk about the impact of COVID. Has that had any part in the growth of football in China? Are people still able to play? Or are they um, still excited about it? Well, the enthusiasm has never waned, if you will. But I just feel that you know, because of the situation, sometimes will be, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of football lovers and fans, and also these younger players will find it a little bit difficult to go out to uh, reach to the uh, field. Uh, they do the best they can, given the situation. And I think the the burning desire is still there. They not only watch football, they not only follow the latest status or development of this you know, sporting extravaganza being played out in Qatar, they want to try out themselves as well. Whenever we have a good day, for example, in China, in the southern part of the country, right now where I am, as I mentioned, we want to go out to play. And whenever, you know, we are actually uh, given this chance or given this opportunity or chance. And I think, um, especially at school right now, for those high school and primary school kids, they love it. They talk about it. And uh, on a daily basis, when they have a game going on and, uh, you know, during their school break or after school, they will talk about how, you know, the, uh, the, the tournament is being played out and which player is doing better this time, which one impresses them, and the topic goes on, really. We know that President Xi set a goal several years ago for China to host a World Cup as well as winning one. We're seeing a lot of new and young national teams making headway, uh, a lot of upsets. Does that bode well for China and the youth of its team as well? Um, it's a long way to go, right, to get there. Winning the World Cup will be even far stressed for, as far as I'm concerned right now. However, realistically, we need to build up this systematic way to build up the uh, training team, the, uh, the this training camp, if you will, step by step and tier by tier from the very beginning, particularly at the grassroots level. We need youngsters to be youngsters to be right there, to be focused, not to be distracted by a lot of factors which might take them away, which might, as I mentioned, distract them from football. Let football be football. That is very important from top uh, level up to the grassroots level. We need to encourage these youngsters to learn to copy our neighboring countries, such as South Korea and Japan, mm -hmm. which are doing so well right now in this tournament. And they're not only in the uh, knockout stage, but also they're setting up an ex a good example for a lot of neighboring countries, including this giant country, that we can do well. Asians can definitely make their presence felt in this kind of uh, uh, tournament, if you will, at this kind of uh, uh, level, on this kind of big occasion. It's just that we need to do that step by step. This is something China needs to do badly from the very beginning, from the grassroots level up to the top, as I mentioned, systematically with tremendous focus and, of course, with funding support as well. All right, CGTN's Wang Dong, thanks for joining us. Always great to see you. Likewise.